Good morning ladies and gentlemen, Stripe Gamer here, providing you with new gaming content about Hano Anything Android today. And we are back in the Arctic. Today we are going to talk about my top 10 specialists for the Arctic and thus for the Arctic Lodge. In the Arctic region, which if you don't know at all, comes from the DLC The Passage in season 1, tends to have very small islands. You can see, I mean, this is sort of the biggest one, um, and many of them are a lot smaller, like this one. So, specialists are key to get the most out of this region. Um, if you want to know more about what you can get out of the Arctic region, I suggest you check out my other video on the region on how to maximize your gas production for free and um, click on the link above if you're interested before we get started with my top 10 specialists for the arctic region please consider subscribing to the channel if you want to discover or master strategy city building simulation games that's exactly what i cover in this channel so subscribe to never miss a new video and support the channel and also please do not hesitate to leave a comment below you can share what you want to learn in this video a question that you may still have at the end or anything else really on your mind it can even be a request for another video for example and i promise i will do my best to answer each and every one of you okay let's dive in we're going to talk about specialists for both the production and the residences in the arctic because the Arctic Lodge actually covers both. Let's check out here, you can see it in the city here, Arctic Lodge administration. Um, for example, on this island, I have three community management costs and investment. Similar to the town hall and the trade unions, it is costing you influence and some money in exchange for enabling you to put items. Let's check out this one for example you have three items which will improve your production decrease your workforce etc so as i just said it does replaces both the trade union your production and the town hall for your residency if we take a look at this island here for example i have one here that covers the population and you can see it's still the Arctic Lodge and then another here for example which covers productions so in some ways this can be very powerful where you can actually have the same Arctic Lodge covering you know helping in a sense um, in the same radius houses and production but of course if you do want to use for example like here three specific elements for uh, houses then you it doesn't really matter okay in the video i will also be using uh, the internal asset viewer which you can see here with ctrl t i will also be using the external asset viewer and of course i will post the link to that asset viewer in the video description below if you don't know about it why the external one well because you actually do get a bit more information um, with the external one than the internal one and for example you get the cost to transmute it or you get the percentage of chance to obtain it by a certain expedition or things like this so it can be quite useful and now we are in the external asset viewer and as you can see i have filtered here by only the items which can be equipped in the arctic launches and also sort by rarity so at the bottom i have all the legendary ones and if we go to the top we're gonna have the uncommon ones okay so let's talk first about the production um, item which i prefer the most and to be clear i'm not saying that these are only the most powerful ones or the most useful but they are mostly also the ones that I would suggest to use because they will apply to production, which I think are critical. 
For example, the first one, my top one, is definitely the uncanny pocket canary. Why? Because it affects the pemmican cockroach. And for me, you cannot really master the Arctic if you don't have great um, pemmican cockroach. And what does that mean by great? Well, I don't want them to use any workforce and I want them to produce extra goods. Um, so it's quite a lot. And we're going to do that with two items. The first one is this one, the uncanny pocket canary. As you can see, workforce need minus 50% and canned food. So with that one, I also don't need to bring canned food to the Arctic anymore. Where do you get it? Well, you can see there's a transmit cost. So you actually do need to transmute it with your lost expedition scraps uh, from the Arctic. Now, wh which one is the second one? The second one is the Sandro Nature Chef. Here, you can see it. Sandro Nature Chef. Workforce need minus 50%. So combining both of these items is minus 100%. So you don't need any workforce. You can build them anywhere. For example, for myself, I build them on plateaus where I don't have any um, of that workforce, which is the Explorer workforce, but I still, uh, they're, they're still working. <laughs> and the second is they produce extra lamps. So again, I don't need to produce them. So where do you get Sandro? We're gonna get actually a few places. The first one is the Arbor. In the Arbor uh, of the Inuit in the Arctic, you have a good chance of getting it. If you roll the dice a few times, you should see him. Then you can also get it in the research institute or research it in the research institute. If you have questions about the research institute, don't hesitate to check out my video on the topic. Please find the link just below um, in the top of this video here. Okay, let's m continue with other productions. So in the Arctic, one of the things you really want to be producing, otherwise I'm not sure why you would be in the Arctic, is gas. And for gas, there are actually only two items that you can use, and one made it into my top 10, which is the greedy gas extractor. Why is that item so great? Well, it increases your productivity, which is good because you have a very limited number of gas mines, but it also produces extra zinc and copper, which again is sort of a limit of the game, right? Because you can only have so many of those mines. Okay, then the next one is if you want to produce pemmican, you're going to need two things. And what are those two things? One is meat and the other is the whaling oil. So let's start with the oil. I do like umiak here. Why? Productivity and workforce needed. So that's number four, umiak. Then number five, Oh, and sorry, and where do you get, actually can get human? Well, quite a few places. Again, in the arbor, um, so you can, if you're ready to just scroll the dice in the research institute again, but also diving. Now, number five, which is now for the meat that we need, the bow of the new. Why? Because it will increase the forest density needed similar to wood, charcoal, things like this, you need a forest around the building and the more building, the more of those buildings you put, um, the less forest you will have, right? Because they will start, the radius will start overlapping. And therefore, if you can decrease the density needed, it's quite useful. So that is number five, bow of the new. And then here, well, you ask, why do I like this one? Glog Splunker, which only affects lumberjacks and charcoals. Many will tell you, yeah, just bring the coal from other regions. If you've seen my video on the Arctic, where you can get the gas for free, you've seen that I've built enough charcoal clean in the Arctic to 
be self-sufficient in particular in coal and it's thanks to that one in um, and and that item did help with the productivity also produce maps that you can give to your people who are bringing it so it is an interesting element and you can transmit it uh, again with lost expedition scraps so that is number six number seven is the saku which if you use seal hunting dogs it can be very powerful to be honest i don't want to use them anymore um, but if you do workforce minus 50 percent and productivity plus 40. so very similar to Nyumnyak, which was for whaling station if you remember um, but this one is for seal hunting dogs I said at the beginning you've seen that I, will, I haven't really covered all production chains like the beer hunting garden or the husky farm the reason is that I don't need those production chain right now to begin with so no need to find an item that actually improves them thus they didn't make in my top 10 now let's move to the houses and if you want you can also filter here to only take the technician shelters or maybe the explorer shelters and you'll see that the number actually reduces quite quickly for the explorer 4 and for the technician it is 2 more so let's stay on the technicians for and which one do I prefer? well it may seem strange because they are not uh, the legendary ones for example the first one that I really like is the radiator why? Two reasons. Well, first, it reduces the Arctic flu chance, which enables me, for example, to not give people alcohol and still not get the flu, uh, or very low chance of getting the flu. And then on top of that, it creates more workforce. And as we said at the beginning, space is critical in the Arctic. So I don't want to create more houses. If I can have less uh, houses, it's better. And on top of this, increasing workforce doesn't increase how much they feed right so you don't need to give more uh, of the needs where do you get this one uh, you transmit it with quite a low cost so very interesting and then the second one that i do like is arman one why because again she will decrease the arctic flu chains by quite a lot and she's going to provide one need the sleeping bag uh, to be precise, which will again sort of reduce um, the Arctic flu chance uh, indirectly. Where do you get her? Uh, mostly in the arbor, again, of the unit. You can roll the dice a few times and you'll probably see her. But you can also do it with the research institute. And then lastly, the outdoor square. Why? Again, Arctic flu chance. So if you've calculated with the three items I showed uh, just now, I'm, I'm at Arctic flu chance minus 110%. So great. And second, because it provides pemmican, so I don't need less of them. Where you get it, transmute it with cost. 25 lost expedition crabs, a bit of coal, a bit of caribou meat. So here is my top. 10 or the last three of my top 10 the radiator unknown and the outdoors grill now very quickly why not the other ones well let's take a look um, this one first provide less pemmican but nothing else so i feel like the other ones are better then this one provide coffee and less arctic flu chains but i'm not giving them any coffee anyway um, so does uh, so it's less useful in my opinion and second is it costs quite a lot uh, to transmit and then similarly this last one again reduces arctic flu chains but the other one that i chose also do that and provide need of parkas which i don't need at all and again cost quite a bit so i'm not saying you can't use them i am just saying for me those three outdoors the and radiator work really well and um, cost a bit less now very quickly let's go back into the game I want to make sure that 
um, you guys know where to transmit so it is here if you see the map it's just next to your main island um, which I've renamed but is the, the island you start with and you can see all these elements I mentioned and their cost actually too versus the Inuit is on the top of the map here you, know where you, are going. you, have you to can know see the items and you can re-roll to get new ones toward the top of the map and lastly if you don't know where to find these um, lost expedition scraps they are actually here beyond uh, the Inuit and all that space here the best way to actually get many of them or, or as we say farm them is you build a number of airships and you just position them all around and then instead of being um, hidden by fog like this it won't be hidden anymore and therefore as soon as one scraps appears you will see it collect it and then wait for the next one okay i hope you like this video if there's any art specialist that you really loved and I miss, please do share in the comments, explain uh, how you use it. Feel free to also share requests for new and future videos. And finally, don't hesitate to subscribe to the channel so you never miss a new video and you'll support the channel for free. Thank you very much. Hope to see you next time.